Penn has made a bold new experiment that has turned into a successful model. This model is Quen 3 Next. This is a model that probably could be the future of efficient LLMs. The reason why is this is an 80 billion parameter model, but only 3 billion parameters are activated per token. And that offers a lot of benefits. And in this video, we're going to learn about Quen's new model, Quen 3 Next, how it is different in terms of architecture and what kind of benefits it provides and how good the model is. First of all, to start with, why are we calling this as the future of efficient LLM? Primarily because the model is an 80 billion parameter model. It's an MOE mixture of experts model, a sparse MOE. In fact, it's an ultra sparse MOE. That means there are 512 experts totally and then there are 10 routed experts plus one shared expert. There are 80 billion parameters overall but only 3 billion parameters are activated per token. This model provides a much much bigger relief for the block that transformers has created which is scaling for larger tokens. And the model also comes with a hybrid architecture which is called as a gated delta net plus gated attention. So this gives a best of speed and also best of recall. And the model also comes with multi-token prediction, speculative decoding, which helps you in uh, having a faster inference where the model is constantly trying to guess what the next token would be. I think overall, this is a great model. The model is available for us to use on Quain's website. You can go chat with the model. On the dropdown, if you go here, you can pick whatever model you want. And the model that we are talking about is Quain 3 next 80 billion parameter model and A3B uh, that indicates that 3 billion parameters are active. And the model comes in two different forms. One is a thinking model. The second one is an instruct model. So Quen has open sourced both the models and they've been very open about the fact that this was a quite an experiment. They've been doing it over a year and the result of the experiment has been quite successful. If you look at the benchmarks of the model, the model seems to be really, really good. So if you see purely from a base model perspective, Quen 3 next 80 billion, this is the model that we are looking at right now. And uh, this is like a similar sized model. And we have got uh, the Quen 3 235 billion, like the large size model. Now on MMLU, this has scored 80, 84. And while the biggest model, largest model has scored 87. So it's quite very closer to whatever it is. On MMLU Pro, this has scored 66. And the larger model has scored 68. And there are like other benchmarks like GSM8Q for math. The model has scored 90. And the other model has scored 94. And there are like bunch of other benchmarks for the base model. The model is decent enough. On the instruct model performance, the model is almost like on par or better than the larger size model. And in fact, you can see here, Amy 2. Uh, Amy 25, the model is better, or like on par. Live code bench much better. Arena hard to much much better. And live bench also better. And only thing is, it is not like super good with super GPQA. But I think overall the model is an excellent model when you compare it with even other models like Gemini 2.5 flash thinking. This is absolutely crushing in terms of when you compare it with the Quen 3 32 billion parameter model. But if you also compare it with the Gemini 2.5 flash, this model seems like magnitude better than Gemini 2.5 flash thinking. Not just the model is good with accuracy, the model also provides primarily because of its new efficient architecture, the model provides incredible speed improvement. So Pre-training efficiency is higher. Uh, first of all, we saw that there is 10 times better pre-training efficiency, but also the inference speed is higher. So you can see during pre-fill, when the when you chat with the LLM, when you give some tokens, the LLM is going to take the tokens and then it is going to pre-fill in the key value cache, KV cache. And that's the process called pre-fill. And with pre-fill, you can see the model has called 10 times better um, throughput with the 32,000 context window and decode, which is when the model is trying to respond back to us. So you can see again, 10 times better improvement. So the pre-fill stage at 4K context window, the model's throughput is nearly seven times larger, higher than the Quen 3 32 billion. And at 32K context window, it is 10 times faster. And the decode stage, you already know what is decode when the model is trying to output the answer to us. At 4K, the model is four times higher in terms of throughput. And uh, at 32K, the model is over 10 times uh, and it maintains the speed like you can see the flattened speed. So overall, the model is a really good architecture. The model has got great innovation. The model is highly efficient. The model is faster. The model takes lesser time and lesser cost to train and the model holds the performance in terms of both instruct model and thinking model. And, you know, truly, I mean, the model is also open source. The model is available on Hugging Face for us to use under Apache 2.0 license. It's it's such an incredible time to live where Quinn is constantly pushing the frontier 
not just with the larger size model, but also with innovative architectures, especially in terms of efficiency. I'm really, really happy that Quen has open sourced this. And as you can see here, you can go to quen.ai and then chat with the model. Just pick the model and start chatting with it. Let me know what you think about this model. I would love to make another tutorial how you can run the model on free Google Collab or some sort of GPU that you can rent. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.